So if you're a D1 or D2 owner, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Here it is. You've got the window switch cover plastic and this bent, broken switch popping out garbage that came... Howdy and welcome back to the Addicted Motors YouTube channel. I finally got a new phone that uh, does shoot a little more HD, so you might be getting me in high def, which might be a bad So today's disco is, well, today's disco, today's video is going to be disco oriented. But in the meantime, I'll go through what's been going on and where my cars are and kind of where the fleet is at these days. But before we do that, thanks for watching these videos. Please like, subscribe, do all that fun YouTube stuff, as I always say, and please check out the rest of my videos. I've got hundreds of videos, most of them Land Rover based, some of them are not Land Rover based, DIY videos, quick fixes, and all that other stuff that goes along with owning a fleet of old crappy cars. Um, I also just did a video on a $500 Tacoma that I bought that no one really watched, but I bought a $500 Tacoma and sold it instantly because it's a Tacoma. So if you didn't watch my video, this is a wonderful, rust free well it's not wonderful but it's good for what it is it's 500 bucks uh runs drives had a check engine light it had a brake light and a few other minor things broken door handle i fixed it all for under 50 bucks um it's beat up but there's no rust it's from oregon and uh posted it in our marketplace and it was gone i don't know within six hours guy just paid me for it so sold for 2800 bucks so Nice little profit on the Toyota. It's a five speed. Um, again, real beat up, but what can you say? That's awesome. The next one on the list was the Ford. Check out my new uh, Rover Woods badges, uh, at least for license plates for the trucks. They look pretty sweet. Uh, that was just a Vista print thing. If you want one, let me know. They're not cheap for some reason, but just had the oil change, the 3,000 mile oil change completed on this since the motor was completely rebuilt um, about six months ago. So we have new oil. Um, what drips out from that thing? I don't know. Uh, new transmission fluid, which made a huge deal. And finally, a new diff cover because it had been leaking since I bought it. And I just didn't think it was that big of a deal. Uh, but I finally got it fixed because I'm tired of adding. I mean, it was getting bad towards the end. I would have to add diff fluid every time. I used it. You know, I, I can only put it with so much. So that's the truck. Well, you can guess which th one this is. Yep. Classic. Still there. Still runs. Still awesome. But let's get back to the purpose of this video. Golden Rovers. Let's check it out. So quick background um, on this particular product. So it's made by a guy uh, on Instagram that I saw with the brand name of Golden Rovers. Um, mostly I think he was focusing on D2 things. So he's, he's working on cargo trays for the upper roof here i think for the d1 and now the d2 or sorry the d2 now the d1 also a fold down tray here um he's got light mounts um and a whole bunch of other bit and bobs he's doing custom um that because the aftermarket for these as far as storage goes is not that great lots of stuff for the d4 and the d3 or the lr3 whatever you want to call it uh, lots of stuff for defenders and whatnot but Historically, I feel like the D1s and D2s have been left out of that kind of fun storage um, overlandy, which, you know, I don't really do the overland thing, but uh, but stuff like this is pretty neat. And I'm really glad that uh, he was able to do one for the R380 equipped D1. So that's what this is. And full disclosure, I asked him if the, he could send me a sample to test since I do have a five-speed truck. And again, they're Five sheet trucks, they're around, but there's not that much room. So here's how the package came. Awesome tape, awesome packaging, and we'll check it out, see what we're working with. And I'll show you why I, uh, I needed this as well. Custom note from, uh, from Daniel. And also look, fully articulated for all trucks installation manuals as well. So we'll be going through this as well uh, because this will really cure a major problem that I have. So. We'll, uh, we'll peruse that later. I got some gear, awesome. And uh, we'll see, I gotta use two hands to pull this out. And here she is. It is the, uh, it's the custom um, center console piece with window switches, and this feels great. It's a nice metal bended cut um, material. It's not plastic. Again, I, I've got a trail truck. This is a trail truck. I want everything to be functional, durable, 
usable, not breakable. I don't want any wood. I don't want any pho, anything, no other plastics. You know, this is supposed to be a rough and tough truck. And what this replaces is something that is let down, well, what, well, lets most users down horribly uh, on the center consoles of all D1s. And D1s. So if you're a D1 or D2 owner, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Here it is. You've got the window switch cover plastic and this bent broken switch popping out garbage factory. I mean, this is hilarious that that uh, anyone would, would assume this holds up to any normal abuse. It absolutely doesn't. There's so many things in behind here, like the e-brake adjustment and uh, little ECUs and the window switch features that this just comes on and off. My kid will crawl in here, step on this, step on this, you leave some drinks. It's just, a, it's a mess. So what I'll do now is I'll pull these cup holders out. I'll undo the uh, the shifter cover and the boot. Same with the uh, low range uh, boot as well. And we'll go ahead and throw this in uh, and we'll cut to uh, the installation. It seems pretty simple. All right, so let's uh, start by removing everything that I have on my um, disco. Like I said, everyone will have a different setup here, but this is a, uh, a good place to start. I don't think there'll be a lot of D1s with the cup holders, but I added them. And so this is what I started with. Here's the stock piece. And you, and you can usually find these for around 60 to $80 used for the most part since they're, you know, it's a popular wear item. Uh, people do remanufacture them, but you know, they're just kind of flimsy in design, especially where your hand's going to be. It's, there's just not enough surrounding plastic to really keep up with the usage of them. Um, and usually the tabs in the back are broken too, just like mine. All right. The next thing is it comes with uh, new clip nuts and screws, which is, uh, is pretty important since mine are, uh, mostly busted. And uh, I just lost one. Awesome. Oh, no, there it is. And a Cheerio. Thank you, Max. All right, I got two of the um, four clip nuts installed, which is good enough for me and my purposes. Um, and I'll go ahead and line everything else up. But again, this uh, this piece, and, and this one's actually, you know, on their website, you can get it made specifically for your truck. I don't have heated seats. I just have power windows in the lock, so no extra open holes or anything like that. It's pretty awesome. It's nice to have things um, able to be modified specifically for your truck if needed. All right, so we will drop this in. I'll probably put the switches in first. Okay, here's where I'm at. So this is the old backing plate. Here's the new plate cover. Um, we're going to get this kind of aligned and plugged back in and, uh, and bolted, you know, back into the car here in a second. All right. So everything get everything aligned and in place, just tighten it up and, uh, you can start putting the, everything back together. All right, so at this point, I think you can also choose to fit the piece of plastic cover back on here. Um, I'm not gonna do that. I don't, I don't need it. That's fine uh, aesthetically how it is. Um, you can probably also not put the piece of rubber that uh, goes on this portion of it back either. I'm gonna leave mine for now. I don't know how it would end up, but I'm gonna keep it um, TBD uh, for now. All right, so again, that's that's the after. Nice and solid construction. Everything fits very well. There's no adjusting or cutting or any after, you know, after the fact BS that's involved in this type of install. Um, and I'm pretty impressed with the product for the price point and everything. It's a, it's a good little add-on um, if you've got, you know, these switch issues and want to just uh, kind of upgrade from uh, what your plastic brittle interior looks like. And it's not just this product. He's got a lot of other stuff. So that being said, I'll link um, his website. Here's the logo and everything. He's on Instagram at Golden Rovers. Um, you know, go check out his website. They, again, he's got everything for D1s and D2s, um, including a lot of storage options and whatnot. So tossing the sticker on the truck. Um, appreciate the, uh, the product testing. 
Um, and I'll leave all the links and stuff in the description so you guys can check it out. And, uh, you know, I, I think this is good. I think it's good for more and more guys uh, bringing some decent, you know, decently priced, high quality aftermarket stuff to the uh, the D1, D2 side of the house. Um, giving a little love with, for trucks that aren't just defenders. And that's going to be it for this video. Remember to check out the rest of my videos, subscribe, see, you know, any type of Land Rover related content that you're interested in. Uh, oh, yeah. Rover Woods. Check out the lodge. It's on Airbnb. Just type in Rover Woods Lodge. I can also drop a link for that as well. Uh, follow me on Instagram and uh, do all that other fun stuff. And uh, happy hunting. If you're looking for projects out there, decent, cheap rovers and things still exist. Just have to put some time and effort into it. And uh, let's catch you in the next video. And now when Max goes in his favorite car and he smashes all over my console, I am uh, less worried about damaging uh, <laughs> the switch plate. And everything else in there, right, buddy? Yeah.